In this lesson, we're going to uh, learn a little bit about the meaning of the second derivative. Now, we've already looked quite a lot at the meaning of dy by dx. The process of finding dy by dx is called differentiation. And the answer that we get is sometimes called the derivative or the gradient function. And it represents the gradient, or it gives us the gradient of a curve. And remember that uh, I tried to emphasize that it doesn't really mean d times y over d times x, or even dy divided by dx, although later on we can take some liberties with that. It's a symbol in its own right. So that's a symbol. And if you use the function x notation instead of y, so we're either going to be using the y notation or the function x notation, then the symbol for differentiate is f dashed x. Once we've done the differentiation, we get a function of x. So why couldn't I differentiate that again? So there's no reason. So if we look at our first example here, if I start with y equals that, then I can differentiate it and I get 18x squared minus 14x plus 8. Now, if you just for the moment forget that that's dy by dx, then of course I could differentiate that again. And if I differentiated it again, I would get 36x minus 14. So how am I going to describe that? Well, in a sense, I've differentiated this twice. OK, differentiate once gives me that. And then I've differentiated the answer. Now, the way we write differentiate twice, and again, this is a symbol. Don't worry at the moment what it leads to. It's really incredibly important, incredibly powerful. But it, we just need a way of saying differentiate twice. And that's one way of doing it. And the way you read this is d2y by dx squared. You don't say d2y over dx squared. You say d2y by dx squared. And that is called the second derivative. If I'm using the function notation, then let's just put a box around that so that you don't get uh, confused with the fact that I've used yellow for this and I've written the answer in yellow. So I'll switch to, to pink. So we'll call this the, the pink question. I always liked a bit of colour on the screen. It makes it better, better looking. OK, so if I use the function notation, then differentiate once is f dashed x. So logic would say differentiate twice. Let's call it put two dashes there. And that is exactly the notation that we use. So if I start with f of x equals this, I have to write this in the best possible way. So that's negative 2 minus 3x to the negative 3. So I differentiate once f dashed x. And that gives me negative 8x to the negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And take away 1 from that is negative 4. Now I have to differentiate that again. So that's f double dashed x. Negative 3 times negative 8 is plus 24. Take 1 away from negative 3 is negative 4. 
Negative 4 times 9 is negative 36, and take 1 away from that, and I get negative 5. Now, the question says, find f double dashed 1. What does that mean? It means take this and substitute x equals 1. One of the powers of this notation, it saves us words. If I was using the, the sort of, if you like, the old-fashioned notation, I'd have to say, uh, find dy by dx if x is equal, or find d2y by dx squared, even if I was doing this one, when x is equal to 1. So it's a whole sentence. Whereas this, f double dash to 1, represents that whole sentence very quickly. So it's a great notation to use, and that's why it uh, has become so important in modern mathematics. So all I've got to do is put 1 in here. Remember, 1 to any power is 1, so it simply gives me 24, take away 36, which is negative 12. So the value of the second derivative of this function, when x equals 1, is negative 12. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.